So the new one, 261, is what you said? Yeah, that's correct. All right, so that's what we're doing. 251 with 261. Yes. Okay. Wow. And this is how you how you flash how Dell like the, in an essence flash. That's how I do because a lot of times, you know, I want to get everything done before they get the windows. But Dell, when they talk to y'all, they do the, the the window package, download it, do it that way. This way, uh, because as far as I'm concerned, as far as Dell's concerned with me, I don't get in the window. If this thing posts correctly and has the right firmware, the right BIOS, asset tags in there, or the, the service tags in there, and it posts correctly and boots correctly, I'm done. Okay. All right. So if you have Windows issues or whatever, then that's on the customer. Yeah, I understood. But as long as this part of it works, that's, that's why I normally, and it's easier for me because, you know, when I'm chilling down a motherboard as it's booting up, I just do everything before it even gets in the window. Yeah, that's smart, because like I said, I, I did look, and we have a retail key, so I realized that if it was OEM, probably wouldn't be able to have to get a new license, but luckily with what we got, uh, it doesn't seem to be the case. The retail should work fine, and it popped up fine, so. Otherwise, with Windows, you know, server 2008, if you don't have a good key, and it's not, you know, the, the SL, Right. Uh, manager isn't, you know, updated or rearmed one hour and we've had that actually happen. Now, is this something like somebody like me I could do? I mean, I know it's really like this more technical side of it, but... Yeah, I mean, you could, yeah. I mean, that's... I mean, all these... All these, um... Programs and, and, and BIOS and everything are available on their website, the same place that they sent you that one from, or if you went and got it and downloaded it. Okay. 